Yo, what is good everybody? It's the medicated dude, KY Army 420. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over something that I constantly get asked about, whether it's a live stream, comment on another video, or on Discord. And that's how do we make the cars on Save Editor after we've downloaded Save Editor? So well, that's what we're gonna go over today. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, please sub up, smash that like, and share out this video. I really do appreciate it and it really does help me out. All right, so this video will be part of a three video series on how to do DMO. This one will be on how to make the cars. The next one will be on how to hit DMO. And the third one will be on how to save your DMO vehicles. So make sure you stay tuned for when those come out and please support me watching those videos also. So to get started, we're actually gonna start on the PlayStation. Once you've fired up your PlayStation, go ahead and come up to settings. Go down to application, save data management, save data in the system storage, copy to USB. At this point, you will need a USB flash drive. Find GTA. What we want to copy here is an actual game save, not the profile, not the photo or the after save actual game save so it'll say a percentage of whatever completion you're done with Go ahead and check mark it hit copy go up to apply to all check mark that and click yes it'll take a few seconds but it'll transfer everything onto the flash drive all right once we're once we've done that we are done with the playstation go ahead and remove your flash drive Put it back into your PC. We're now going to switch back over to the PC. All right, once we're back on the PC, we're going to go ahead and open up Save Wizard before we start doing anything else. But once you've got it open like this, go ahead and click on Resign. It'll show your flash drive. Just double click it and it will show your, your save. Right click on that, you will need to register. You will need to create a profile and register your save. Once you've registered everything, come back over to Cheats. Drop this down and you will see that you have your game saved ready to go. So go ahead and knock them that part out before we get into the actual editor. That way at the end of the video, you can save it and go ahead and proceed on to DMO. Now we've gotten Save Wizard set up. We're going to go ahead and jump into save editor now if you don't know how to download save editor go watch my re one of my videos i have a couple of them on how to download save editor just make sure you're downloading the most recent version which is 5.5.4.1 excuse me <clears throat> now once you open it up yours probably won't look like this you'll probably need to go up here to open save and you'll have to open up your save it might show up right here but more likely you have to go up here. But once you've gotten your save open, I'm gonna go ahead and use my top one right here. And if you need a save also, feel free to join the Discord. Link will be that link will be down in the description. Um, come chat with us in there. We'll gladly pass off a DMO save to you. If you want to make a backup, you can. I never do though, so I'm just gonna click no. And once we load in, we're greeted with this screen right here. We're not gonna worry about none of this stuff right here. The only thing we're gonna be worried about is these three characters right here, three game characters. This top white symbol, which is the save button. Red X, which is the closed game save. And this button right here, which is the garages. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And we're greeted with all these vehicles. So right off the bat, have seven slots on each character. So seven, seven, and seven, 21. On each character, it's gonna be the first four right here, and then these three after it. So it'll be the same on Michael, first four, and then one, two, three for seven, and then the same on Franklin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So start off with whoever you want to. Start off with the first slot, go ahead and find you a car. We're gonna use this Dominator right here just because that's a lot of things for me to show you and go over to it real quick. I'm gonna try to keep this video short. 
I'm not going to go over intensive details on a whole bunch of things. I will save that for a different day. I'm trying to just get the basics done right here. Like some of these people that are constantly asking me can go ahead and start making some of their own modded cars. So right off the bat, the first little column we've got here, we've got vehicles. Obviously, this is where you would pick what vehicle you want to use. You can either scroll up and down and find what you're looking for, or you can type it up here in the search bar. Next up, we've got brakes. All of these standard stuff like brakes, armor, engine, um, transmission, they're automatically going to be preset to the max. But if you want to change it, feel free to go ahead and do that. Next is horn. This is where you can pick your various horns. You got your 4th of July horns down here. You got your Halloween horns right up here. The festive loop is your Christmas horns. Unfortunately, they don't stick, but that is how you get them. Next is going to be your plate. Obviously, you're going to, obviously you're going to want a Yankton plate. It will automatically be check marked, but for some reason you want one of these other plates, feel free to go for it. Suspension is next. It's already going to be maxed out. If you want something different, by all means, pick what you want. Turbo is the same thing. It will be turbo tuned already. If you don't want to, just select none. Neon, it's going to be maxed out with front, back, and sides. If you prefer just to have the front or the sides or something else, feel free to go ahead and pick what you want. Primary and secondary, or let's hit in custom. We're going to come back to these four in a little bit. Front rims. This is where you would pick what kind of rims you want, whether you wanted Benny's Bespokes, Originals, you wanted F1 wheels, or you wanted street wheels. Rim color, we're going to discuss rim color when we discuss actually painting the car. Fire smoke, this one is automatically preset to Patriot smoke. You can change it if you want to, but it is already preset to Patriot. Tires, this is already preset to custom front and rear. So just don't bother with that. Next column, we've got armor. Once again, it's preset up to a hundred. You want to change it by all means, go ahead. Engine, the same thing. It's already maxed out. Headlights, you can choose to pick a headlight Put on your vehicle if you want. These can be changed inside of the arena. So I usually don't worry about them too much. Plate text, this is where you would pick what you wanted on the license plate. You can have up to eight characters. So I want to put like, oh, hi there. That would be eight characters. If you want a space in between words, make sure you put some kind of a symbol, a pound sign, a money sign, an exclamation point, something like that. If you want a blankton, put all symbols and you will have a blankton. Next is transmission. It's already going to be set to race. So if you want to change it, go for it. Windows, it's automatically going to be set to light green. But if you want to choose pure black or clear, you could. These all three of these are unselected in the game. Neon color, you can go through here and pick whatever kind of color you would want. We'll touch on that just some more in a minute. Rear rims, you don't need to mess with this. Once you pick the front ones, the back ones are automatically set. Our design, this is where you would pick your white walls, your retros, your classic, your lines, or your atomic tires. Bulletproof tires, it's automatically set to none. If you want it bulletproof, select it. Now, let's get into color. Starting off with primary. These are all the colors in the game. If you'll, as you notice, some of them have this little white diamond, and some don't. The ones that have the white diamond are unselected in the game. The ones that do not have the diamond, those are selected. That applies for primary, secondary, rim color, and pearlescent. So if it's got a diamond, you're good to go. If it doesn't have a diamond, it's going to be check marked and selected in the game. Now, the only time that does not apply is when you use a custom color. So, for example, I'm gonna make this car here. We're gonna sort of go through it together. I'm just gonna make something simple and easy just to show you. So under the primary, like I said, if it's check marked, or if it's got a diamond, it's good to go. If it doesn't, it's check marked. 
with the primary and using a custom color it doesn't matter what you put down it can ha not have the diamond or it can have the diamond as long as you're using a custom color so for me on my primaries that's like the base coat i like to use either brushed steel brush aluminum pure white or your worn off white and worn white so i'm gonna select brushed i'm gonna put brushed steel it does not have a diamond but it will be okay because i'm gonna go over here to respray custom i'm gonna go down to more colors and i'm gonna make my own color so we'll go with something right so we'll go with that orange so i'm gonna select that orange and i'm gonna click i'm gonna check mark the primary now that now means that the primary color is this orange so whatever i have right here it does not matter i can have something without the diamond or something with the diamond the game is only going to register this orange you'll you'll see these colors you know underneath of your layer of orange or whatever color you're choosing but the game will not reflect that it's there so therefore it will not be a scratch vehicle it will not be check mark same goes with secondary i come back over to custom and i check mark secondary and it doesn't matter what i click over here i can pick fluorescent blue i could pick salmon pink I could pick hot pink it will not be check mark or it will not be check marked in game because i put a custom paint on top so now if i went back and let's say i put brush steel for the primary and then i did this custom orange on top but i only did it on the primary then whatever i do in secondary will show so if i came over here and i still kept this hot pink this hot pink will show in the game because the only thing that i'm covering is the primary same goes with pearlescent make sure it has the diamond your custom will not affect the pearlescent at all but when you pick a pearlescent you gotta make sure it has one of these diamonds now a little more on custom colors if you like one of these colors in game that are check mark like let's say oh, lime green say we say we like this lime green we can right click on it we can copy the color come over here to custom put this little drop down paste the color come back into it go to more colors come to custom if we change that just a little that is still the same color but in game it's not going to be selected now now, if we wanted this on the primary, not only that, but check mark. If you want it on the secondary, go ahead and check mark that. Now, once you get down here to the wheels, the same rules apply. If it has a diamond, good to go. If it doesn't have the white diamond, don't use it. There are a couple exceptions. As you get more into this, you'll notice that a couple of these colors up here and a couple of these colors on the rim color are actually in the game even though they have a check mark. So just be careful. Whenever you make something, make sure you check it when you bring it on the game. Um, also, when you're over here, under the colors, primary or the secondary, any color that you use, let's say, um, say you didn't use a custom color and you just wanted to use uh, pure white primary with a green bright secondary. That's what you wanted to go with. When you right click on any of these colors, you get this little drop down box that allows you to copy the color. Or you can also copy the color straight to neon, straight to the respray custom, neon, tire smoke, and respray custom. Pretty neat little thing they added in. Pretty convenient to sit here and find a color you like. Go ahead and just right click on it and boom, send it straight to the neon color. So 
we're gonna go ahead and copy this color straight to the neon come over here neon boom there's our color but if you don't like that color if you don't want to use the same colors what you got up there over here on these more welcome to come in here and just play around and find whatever you like so all kinds of colors shades you know your imagination's you know the limit of your creativity at this point so once we now we've got basically all that those covered down below is going to be all of your extra stuff um your various buffers these are things you can change and most of these most of these are things you can change in the game that aren't going to affect the car at all, the vehicle at all um you know like um your bumpers your exhaust your, your spoilers um mirrors stuff like that the only few exceptions would be say your livery um if you're wanting an unselected livery you'd want to do that in the game or in here uh and not in the game so also weaponized vehicles this is livery is where you would put you know like your candy canes your tartans your skulls um all your dollar dollars your tartans and your coins all that good stuff if it's a weaponized vehicle down here under specific modifications you'll have all your weapons and all that stuff if it's a regular vehicle this is where you're gonna have just customization stuff you know like except for your bumpers your hoods intercoolers all that good stuff um there's a lot of vehicles on this list that you cannot use the boats obviously planes um, there's a couple planes on here um that you can't use i pass the planes up oh where are the planes at we'll find it here in just a second there there's a few planes in here that you can't use um just because The Avenger 4 right here, I wouldn't use. The propellers or the blades don't spin. Can't, the wheels don't go down. Um, emergency vehicles down here. You know, don't use the emergency vehicles wherever they are. You can't bring them in the game. Uh, I can never find them here. Oh, oh, yeah. There's few of them. There's some of the service vehicles. The rest should be up here. Military, nope. Right here, emergency. Don't try to bring these ones in. These are all blacklisted in the game. Some other vehicles you'll stumble across are blacklisted. You won't be able to get them in the game, like this snow stockade. The phantoms you can bring them on the game but you just can't save them they won't save so once you've done everything that you want to do with your vehicles and you have modded them to your heart's desires if we go right up here click the little white save the game will be saved open back up your save wizard find your current save right click on it go to advanced mode It will take a minute to load this up. Once it's loaded up, come up here to the top corner and import file. We'll go ahead and find the game file that we just saved right here. Click on it, click open. Then we're going to click apply and click yes. After a few minutes, it will get done doing its thing and it will pop up saying that the modifications have been successfully applied. And they're there right there. At this point, you are now done. You can go ahead and back it out, or excuse me, you can go ahead and back out, close out, whichever you prefer, out of Save Wizard and Save Editor. We're going to go ahead and switch back over to the PlayStation real fast. Go ahead and take your just saved your game save too. Take it back in your PlayStation. Come back up to settings. 
go back down the application save data management this time we're going to go down to save data on the usb device copy to system storage click on grand theft auto click that go to copy click apply to all and click yes back out one time go up to save data and system storage go down and delete click grand theft auto and go ahead and delete that auto save get used to doing that each time after you do dmo just a good habit to get into the you know get going there with once we've got that deleted you can go ahead and back out we're now ready to go ahead and launch up gta once you do as soon as the lady in the bikini disappears go ahead and hold down all your trigger buttons l1 r1 l2 and r2 hold those down until the stars and the rock star symbol go away and you get the white text at that time let go that will clear your cache it will load in all your new game save data into the playstation calibrate your screen and you will be ready to go for dmo i'm gonna break i said at the beginning i'm gonna break this video down or dmo down let's say into two different parts this was how to do the save editor next one will be dmo and the third video will be how to save your dmo cars so if this video helped you if you walked away with any kind of gain knowledge please smash that like sub up share it out it really does help me and until next time y'all it's ky army 420 peace love and respect as always and i'll catch y'all on the next one later